Hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex, and, and today we're going to talk about the book to film adaptation of Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. So last month, um, I talked to you guys a little bit about Mallory, which is the second book in the Bird Box series, and I told you that I would do the book to film adaptation, like talk about Bird Box, the book, talk about Bird Box film, I'm finally ready to do it, and I'm really excited to talk to you about it today. But there are probably going to be spoilers. Like, I'm going to get into the book. I'm going to get into the film. Uh, so, if you want to wait, if you want to read Bird Box the book, or if you want to watch Bird Box the film before, you know, there. I, I usually do spoiler free, but I don't think I'm going to get away with it today. I don't think I can get away with it today. So, yeah. There's your um, big warning. I'm filming at a different time of day than I normally do. Like, it's kind of early. I normally film, like, in the afternoon when I've, like, really woken up, so I'm not really quite awake yet. And the noise outside is a lot louder in the morning. Like, I don't know if you guys can hear the cars. I live, like, right by a highway. So, it's just, it's a little distracting this morning. But I'm going to keep it together. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so let's start with Bird Box by Josh Mallerman, okay? I am so disappointed that I did not read the book before I watched the film. Like, I didn't know there was a book. I didn't know it was a book to film adaptation. Like, I am usually so good about catching it. I'm usually so good about catching it. Like, when they say, when they're promoting the movie and stuff, they'll usually say it ad adapted from this book and I didn't catch this one because I usually make it a point to read the books before I watch the film always so I, I watched Bird Box the film completely blind uh, not knowing what was gonna happen like completely open-minded not not knowing what was happening and so to read the book knowing what was gonna happen man that was a bummer ah because I was just comparing everything to the film, basically. Just comparing the whole book to the film. So, let's talk about Mallory, the main character. Let's, let's talk about Mallory. In the book, Mallerman has written her so differently than the Mallory we get in the film, okay? Mal book Mallory, she's kind, naive, She's a little bit younger than Sandra Bullock's character, which is fine. We love Sandra Bullock. It doesn't all happen so smash and grab like it does in the film. Like, we have Mallory and her sister actually, like, hole up together in the house that they share together when everything starts going wrong. It's a lot slower of a start. Like, I understand why the film did the opening the way they did because it was a really exciting opening. But in this time when we're sitting here with Mallory, we understand a little bit more about who she is and that she's actually like a nice person and she has soft edges and she's actually happy about being pregnant, about having her baby. And all of this kind of comes at a time when she's extremely vulnerable and she doesn't really know what to do. And then not far into her pregnancy, she loses her sister. Luckily, Mallory was not hurt in the incident. And that's when Mallory decides to leave the house because she hears about the other house, the group house, that we see in the film. And she decides, I need to go there because these are the only people I know that are still alive. Like, she doesn't know these people, but she's like, I can't be alone. Like, I'm going to have a baby. I have to find somewhere to go. And so she leaves the house and walks there, pretty sure she walks, blindfolded. Like this is like a whole other type of an incident compared to what happened in the film. Like Mallory has to basically navigate through dead bodies, dead cars. She doesn't know what's out there. They don't really know anything at this point. They don't know a whole lot. So she's just, just kind of trying to find anybody. And oh gosh, it was just, horrible. Well, she finally gets to the house and 
they let her in and stuff. And the thing about her being there is she finally feels safe and happy. And, you know, a lot of them are trying to, like, get information and figure out, like, what's causing this and can we actually look at the creatures and blah, blah, blah. And Mallory really doesn't want any part of it. Like, Mallory wants to just be safe and sound. Like, she watched her sister die. She wants to have her baby and she doesn't want to be alone. And this kind of feels drastically different than the Mallory that we get in the film. All the bad stuff happens around the birth of the baby. And her and Tom and the babies end up leaving the house and finding somewhere else to stay. And this is when we really get into who Mallory has become because of everything that has happened. And she still is just so soft on the inside she really is and this world has made her hard but she's not really a hard person yet she's not really a hard person yet and there's just this moment that i'll always remember from the book where she um went to see the twins i call them the twins i know they're i know they're not technically twins but <clears throat> she went to see them while they were sleeping and she debated pouring paint thinner in their eyes so that she never had to worry about them looking. Oh my God, I'm tearing up. It was such an emotional moment because you understood her struggle. You understood she didn't want to lose those kids, but she couldn't actually bring herself to do it. She couldn't actually bring herself to harm those kids. And it broke my heart for Mallory. It really did because this is not the Mallory that we get in the film. Film Mallory would have blinded those kids. I feel like she would have just dumped the, pan, the can of paint thinner in their eyeballs and said, you know what, I did you a favor. I feel like she would have. The Mallory in the book was just so different. And then we also really get into how much she taught the children to adapt their senses to keep them safe. Like, she drilled them and she worked with them and... By the time they got on to the boat to go to the school for the blind, the kids had just so good of hearing at this point that they could hear things that were miles away. It was just really interesting to watch her help them hone their skills to be able to do that. This also came at a price because she was really forcing the kids to grow up rather quickly. I think at the time they were only like five when they went on the river. And it was shortly after, you know, the other character, um, Tom, died, who was from the house, who Mallory ended up falling in love with and was helping her raise the kids. They get on the river and it's, it's so sad and hard and, you know, they get there and everything kind of works out in the end. The Mallory that we get in the book is just so drastically different from the Mallory we get in the film. If we want to transition to the film here for, you know, a little bit, let's talk about it. Mallory in the film, okay, first off, the cast of this film, I think they did a really good job. A lot of big names, it, it brought a lot of attention to the film, and I think that I liked that they weren't afraid to kill off the characters. Like, the big names, you know, they weren't afraid to kill them off because that's what happened in the story, so... I was glad they didn't like alter it too much. Honestly, the film is very close to the book. Like I did not have a lot of issues like, oh, they changed a bunch of stuff. They really didn't. They really stuck to the book. The thing I didn't like is that they just didn't really give Mallory her story. I really just hated that. And I know it's so hard. It's so hard to take feelings and emotions and inner turmoil and things the written word all of that we see it so transparently because we're in Mallory's head the whole time like when we're reading books we're in the character we can read it all it's in black and white the you know author is giving us so much in in film you can only do so much and that is the downside to you know reading versus film watching is you can get so much more from a character from a book than you can from a film. However, oh, I think they just did Mallory dirty in that film because just right from the get go, she came off as just 
hard and annoyed. Her sister was kind of like badgering her like you need to take better care of yourself and you need to like kind of clean up your space because like you're gonna have a baby. Did you forget you're gonna have a baby? And she's like, well, you know, I just haven't really decided if I'm gonna keep it yet and blah, blah, blah. So she really was not into the idea of having kids. Like she was not sold on having her baby. She was not, she already kind of had this edge that she was like, I am not really gonna do this motherhood thing but I'm not going to not do it either. And I did not love that because Mallory in the book was not like that. She was not this hard edged person yet. The pandemic that they went through is what made her hard. She was not hard before any of this happened. And the Mallory in the film, tough as nails, man, like wielding that shotgun, doing all that stuff. Like she seemed so fearless. Mallory just wasn't like that. There were a lot of moments in the movie, though, that just broke me. That moment when they're on the river and she's like, someone has to look. And the little girl says, I'll look. Oh, my God. And that's the moment that we find out that the little girl is not, you know, Mallory's daughter. That her child is Tom. Like, it took us this long in the film to figure out whose kid was who. They were not clear about who had what kid. In the book, it was extremely clear, like Tom was her child, but she loved both of the kids the same. In this moment, we really see that Mallory did not love the children the same. Like we had this flicker of doubt. I mean, the whole time through the film, we're like, I don't, Mallory really didn't want that kid. Like she got stuck with it because she couldn't adopt her kid out because you know, of what was happening and then on top of that she got stuck with this other chick's kid like in a freak accident moment she got stuck with this other person's kid so now not only did she not want one kid now she's got two like that's what we're, that's what I was thinking the whole time I was watching the film I was like man Mallory really really didn't want any of this and she's not really you know I didn't really know that she was doing her best I mean she called them girl and boy and that was a level of detachment that I was not prepared for. She did do this in the book and it really was a way to protect herself because she lost so much in that house when all of that happened with Gary. She lost so much in the house and I think she was just trying to prepare herself to lose them because they were babies. I mean, how can you teach a child not to look outside? So there were just... In the film, there were some really hard moments to watch, and that was one of them. But watching Mallory the whole time was the hardest part because I just think they did her wrong. Now, I love Sandra Bullock, and the thing that makes me mad is Sandra Bullock had the range to do that character. She had the range to do that character in her entirety. She could have started off as a soft person, her heart breaking over and over again for the situation that they were in, and then her heart breaking for the last time. And that being what turned her into what she was now. And she could have totally done it. She could have totally pulled it off. I know she could have. And they just, like, they didn't write it that way. And at the end of the film, you know, we finally get to see the softer side to Mallory. But that's a really long time to wait to see that she actually cared about these kids. That she wasn't just taking care of them out of obligation. That she might actually love them. And in the book, we knew the whole time that she just, she loved them desperately and she just, she wanted, she did not want to lose them at all. It was so heartbreaking. The thing about the book is it was written in a horror style and it was actually quite scary. This book, this film, I think it, the film did freak me out, but it wasn't as scary as I was really hoping for. You know, it's marketed as a horror story, horror movie, horror film. Wow. Wow. It's marketed as a horror film, but I think it was such a hard concept to grasp. It was extremely psychological um, because we don't actually see the creatures at any point. All we see is what happens to people when they experience seeing them. And we also see what happens to people who um, see them and don't go into like a blinding killing panic you know and these are the people that are kind of like mentally troubled in whatever way which we don't ever really get into we don't ever really get into 
why some people can look and be okay besides the point of like oh well they're obviously crazy we don't get into it we don't get into any scientifics of it we don't really get into anything in the book and we definitely don't get into anything into the film it's just like that's the only thing i wish for both the film and the book i wish they would have figured more out at some point like we were just kind of going through the whole book just believing that whatever they were seeing caused them so much inner turmoil that they turned deadly. I think it's a hard concept to grasp on film because I think on film it kind of came across as like cheesy and um, it was easy to poke holes in it and um, people just kind of thought it was a little bit silly. In the book though, it really messed with me. The way Mellerman wrote it, it messed with me. And that's why I was like, I'm really mad I didn't read the book first because the book messed with me. Like the psychologicalness of it was worse than actually seeing what everybody was seeing. It was worse. Like there's a point in the book where Gary, you know, the guy that comes in and like overturns the house while they're having the babies. Um, he says something now, I can't quite remember, but it's something like the man's worst enemy is man. It's not, you know, these creatures. Men are the ones that are undoing themselves. And that just messed with me. It messed with me. Like, cause he was right. He was right. You know? And we didn't, we didn't want Gary to be right about anything, man. We didn't want him to be right about anything. Now that I have you here, let's talk a little bit about Mallory. I know I talked about Mallory in a previous post because I talked about what I read in May and I read, I read Mallory in May, but Mallory was really, it was more and both less than what I was expecting because I did not find it as psychologically bending as the first book. Like, how could it be? You know, we've already established all of this stuff. We know what's happening. So this was more like a, what happens after we've been dealing with this for a long time? Um, which I really liked because we have Mallory again and you can just see how much more hardened she's gotten. And then she finds out that her parents might potentially be alive somewhere. And you can just see through the pages her hard exterior just sort of crumbling away and she's just trying desperately to stay strong for her and the kids and she can't she can't take any more because she's she's grieved her parents dying she assumed that her parents were dead and now all these years later she's like they've been alone without me and they've been thinking I'm dead and they don't and they think my sister's dead which she is but they don't know for sure and they don't know that I have kids and they don't know that I've been, you know, alone this whole time. And what if we find them and I'm not what they remember me to be? Because of course she's not who they remember her to be. And how am I going to protect the kids when we go out? We've never been out this far before. You know, how are we going to get there? Are we going to make it? And she's just struggling so much. And it was so heartbreaking to listen to her struggle so much with everything. Like, it all made so much sense while she, why she was struggling so much. And it was just so sad. And then you have these two kids who by now are like 17 years old. And they each <clears throat> are telling part of their story, too. And you have one that wants to just rail against the system. He doesn't want to you know, cover his eyes anymore. He doesn't want to live in the dark. He wants to see, he wants to experience like, you know, and so he's pushing the envelope and it scares Mallory. Just like it would scare any parent, like, because your whole job is to keep them safe and he doesn't want to stay safe. And then you have the daughter that's just, you know, she's the go-between between, between Mallory and the boy, Tom. And it's hard for her to be there. It's hard for her to placate both of them and try and keep things working when she has her own issues that she's trying to deal with too. So I think that Mallory was a great follow-up to the first book. I did not find it scary. Now the first book, Bird Box, man, if I hadn't read it before I watched the film, it would have just scared the crap out of me. 
it really would have like just the the twistedness of the whole thing like Malorman really wrote it excellently in the film all I could focus on was like are we ever gonna get to see them are we ever gonna get to see the creatures are we ever gonna get to see what everyone's talking about like what's causing everyone to go mad and in the book I never once thought about it I never once thought about it because just the way that he was writing it, I never really wanted to focus on what the things look like. And the way that Mallerman writes gore, wow, wow, man, and I knew what was going to happen because I watched the film first. I knew what was going to happen in the book and still he surprised me. His gore writing is very good, very good. Which is why I was kind of disappointed in the second book that because it didn't have it didn't have hardly any gore in it. But you know, Mall Mallerman knows what he's doing. Yeah, that's all I really have. I don't really know how this went. How did it go? <laughs> was it a success? Um, I guess like let me know in the comments. Did I do a good job? Um, I feel like I was rambling a lot, but yeah, obviously um, I, I enjoyed the book. I enjoyed the book more than I enjoyed the film. I wish I would have read the book before I watched the film. And, um, I just, I think they did Mallory dirty. But, Bird Box the book and Bird Box the film were both pretty good for me. I know a lot of people think that Bird Box is kind of silly. It got made fun of a lot after it came out. And it got so much hype. And that's probably why I watched it the most because I was like, I need, I need to figure out what everyone's talking about this movie. I need to figure out what everyone's on about. But Bird Box the book was actually really good. And the follow-up, Mallory, it was very different from Bird Box, but it was, it was what the story needed. It was what I needed for closure for me. So I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, let me know how this went. If y'all want me to talk more... Um, books to uh, film out adaptations like let me know um it felt really rambly to me but you know maybe it made sense i'll see you guys next time bye